Let's look at this article from The Hill. Um, it says, Durham aid resigns from Russia probe amid concerns over pressure from Barr report. Um, I'll tell you right now, I have a pretty good idea of what's in the Durham report. Um, I have talked to some people and um, I got a tip in my email and I think I have, I know exactly what's going on in the Durham report. But before we get to that, let's look at this. A top aide to U.S. Attorney John Durham has reportedly resigned from the Justice Department's probe into the origins of the Russia investigation amid, wor amid worries over political pressure from Attorney General William Barr. Federal Prosecutor Nora uh, Dennehy, who has worked with Durham for decades, resigned Thursday evening, sources told the Hartford Current in a story published Friday. Her resignation email did not include mention of political pressure. Dennehy, who sources told the uh, current is not a supporter of President Trump, um, was reportedly conflicted between politics and loyalty to Durham. A longtime colleague, the career prosecutor has led high-profile investigations into leaders such as former Connecticut Governor John Rowland. Um, Barr appointed Durham to lead the investigation into the origins of the investigation into the Russia interference in the 2016 election and any uh, potential links to the Trump campaign. Colleagues of Durham, of uh, Danahy, told the um, current that Barr is pushing Durham to produce more results before the November election. The Durham investigation produced its first public result in August with the arrest of former FBI lawyer Kevin Klein Smith, who pleaded guilty to falsifying a document to justify surveillance of a former Trump campaign advisor as part of the 2016 investigation. The Justice Department did not immediately respond to a request for comment. So, <clears throat> I'm going to tell you that I think when it comes to the Durham report, it's going to be just one big dud. I have received an email from somebody who claims to be in the Justice Department. Um... I don't necessarily believe this person. I looked into the email address and it doesn't go back to the a Justice Department email address. And the name that I did trace it back to, um, I can't uh, figure out how they're associated with the Justice Department. So I think it's just um, a bunch of nonsense. But I do want to say that just based on all the signs out there, the fact that nothing has come back so far, the fact that the election is literally less than two months away now, um, even though we're in full-fledged election season, um, there's nothing coming out. I'm sure that there is some political pressure being placed on bar to produce results. And then, of course, Durham to pr produce results. Because let's just say, for the sake of argument that Durham has the goods. He has just tons of stuff, which I do not believe he does. I believe it's just going to be a big dud. I will be su pleasantly surprised if he does come back with stuff, but I really don't think he, he is. I'm, I'm concerned that, uh, well, I won't mention my concerns, but let's just say for the sake of argument that he has all the goods, but he doesn't release any of it until after the election. And let's say that as a result of the election, um, Joe Biden becomes our next president. I mean, I'm not saying he will or he won't. I have no insight on that at all. But let's just say that he does. And then all of a sudden he becomes the next president. And then all of a sudden the goods are released that implicate, implicate him as potentially spying on the Trump campaign during the 2016 election. I mean, wouldn't we want to know that before the election to save the country from having to go through another impeachment through another crazy to a you know a huge political scandal. Um, the same with uh, any sort of test on whether Joe Biden has any cognitive issues. Wouldn't we want any tests like that done prior to the election? Or Trump has any cognitive issues? Or there's any evidence against Trump or that he's doing anything wrong? Why why hasn't all this stuff been released yet? I think the reason is because there's nothing out there. It's just a big dud. And I'm going to stick with that, although I will be pleasantly surprised if there is something. And last, I'll say that uh, um, if there is something big and it doesn't come out until after the election, 
then I don't think anybody could make the argument that Bill Barr, John Durham, and a lot of these characters that are investigating all this purposefully prevented it from coming out until after the election to hurt, to specifically hurt Donald Trump. Anyway, that's what I have. I, I think it's all going to be a big dud. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'd like to give a shout out to the Maine Fusion Center, a secret Maine State Police Department set up in the wake of 9-11 to spy on terrorists, but now spy on anybody who's a little critical of the state of Maine. They have spied on me, they've spied on um, peaceful protesters, um, they've spied on people that were against a power line going through Maine, they've spied on uh, Black Lives Matter protesters, and they are my most loyal fan. They've watched all my videos, read all my posts, so a big shout out to the Maine State Police Fusion Center. These videos do take a lot of time. I don't make money on them, so if you would not mind, go check out my website. Um, nationalsi.com and um, if you know anybody who does insurance fraud assignments um, and insurance adjusters lawyers um, please email me their contact information so that I can reach out to them um, I'm in the New England area I'm licensed um, in uh, Massachusetts New Hampshire Vermont I work in Rhode Island and also I'm, I'm down in the south too in Tennessee um, uh, so any of those areas are are great if you know people that are in the industry please forward their information it would be very very helpful um, also check out my store um, you can buy cool t-shirts and uh, mugs and different things that help support my work i just want to get to the truth that's my goal with every case with every um, story that i do and um, the truth and uncovering the truth is very important no matter where it leads Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare place for you. And if I go and prepare place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also.